Oh, Joe Biden ain't racist, you say? <laughs> then you don't know him very well now, do ya? <laughs> Intro. Yo, what's good, fam bam? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another technically review video, as I have seen this before. And I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, this video being called 47 Years of Joe Biden's Racist Comments. And this is the updated version. Um, some of you may be familiar with some uh, reactors who hit up the original version of this video. Yeah, this is actually the updated version of that video. So it's going to be a little bit more to it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to the many, many moments of Joe Biden's um, racist, racial remarks, I should say. And uh, stay tuned, because there is um, actually an older video clip of Joe Biden dropping some M-bombs. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Because, yo, I want to make sure people know, for those who are supporting this man blindly as it is obvious uh, for some. I want you to know the kind of man that you're supporting, all right? I want you to know the kind of man that you think is on your team. I'm just saying. Anyway, without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and get into what old uh, Creepy Joe has to say by not liking, but we're going to hear here. Go. Are you going to right, apologize? Thanks, like Corey Booker Apologize for what? Corey Booker's called for it. Corey exactly. should apologize. He knows better. There's not a racist bone in my body. I've been involved in civil rights my whole career. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, allergy season, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyway. I've been in civil rights my whole career. The blinders have been taken off. They've all of a sudden seen a hell of a lot clearer. They're seeing, geez, the reason I was able to stay sequestered in my home is because some black woman was able to stack the grocery shelf. What? When may I expect dinner, Gilbert? Presently, Mr. Herrick. Presently. What would the noontime be without the classic Leave it to Beulah? Beulah, who's always in the kitchen. But never seems to know what's cooking. What? Do not go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. So fully, I'm not joking. You blew it. Bruh. Stereotyping too, man. Damn. The world is different. There's too much unfinished business for us to just look back. And of course, I, I find it suspect, but then what, what do you expect, man? That uh, th this bruh right here this mixed bruh right here, uh, <clears throat> who has um very questionable past ever since um someone kind of outed him on Tucker Carlson's um, interview. <laughs> I'm just saying, um, is it, sticking up for you know the the uh, the uh, racist white man, but I mean, bruh. anyway, backwards. We have to look to the future. I know, Joe. Yeah, we have to look into the future, right? And is that why your ass was busy by looking at the past? What? We know Joe. But most importantly, Joe knows us. I, I bet he does. I bet he does. Are you serious? Oh, uh, man. You claim you know him, but I don't think you know him very well now, do ya? I'll just say it. That's right. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand. And to get hot, I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair c come back up again. They'd look at it. So I learned about roach. Then, then Joe associates getting to know black kids with learning about cockroaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Oh, I bet you do, old creepy ass Joe. Not okay! Even call centers, even call centers, which rushed overseas in the hundreds of thousands, 
How many times you get the call? I'd like to talk to you about your credit card. Poor kid. What the fuck? That's just all kinds of wrong. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. What? You can't repeat that again, Joe, for the, for, the, for the ones in the back that don't hear very well. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. What? Poor kids are just as smart and talented as white kids. Damn it, Bobby, this just ain't right. So when he sees white kids, he associates them with success. He associates poor kids as kids who are people of color. Black, white, brown, red, yellow, whatever the case. He associates them with being unsuccessful. Not okay! Bad in a thousand here, Joe. They're gonna put you all back in chains. What? Now, didn't I tell you all about this in a past video? Let's hear that again. Just as talented as white kids. They're gonna put you all back in chains. They're gonna put y'all back in chains. He said that. Those were his words. Y'all back in chains. You need, in my opinion, we don't need white people leading the Democratic Party right now. The Democrat. And yet, you 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 got a racist white man leading the Democratic Party right now. The party is diverse, and it should be reflected as so in our leadership. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. What? But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump. And you ain't black. Are you serious? Ooh, Pinky, I know you're going to hit my comment section. I would love to see you try. Try to defend Joe Biden. Let's go. Why does this Chuck, happen? I'm not going to do this. What, I'm not going to do this. Because, Chuck, I'm not going to do this because let me just be really clear. Vice President Biden absolutely has a respect level for all people around him. For voters across look at that. she can't even keep her eyes open when she lies you know what i mean she's all like this like watch watch she can't even keep her eyes open when she lies watch absolutely has a respect level for all people around him for voters across this country young people uh older voters voters of color black people latino voters indigenous asian american pacific islander so I'm not going to even uh, traffic in any hypothetical conversation about if he is sensitive enough. You need, in my opinion. Girl, at least at least have your eyes open and look into the camera. You know what I mean? Look at the people when you lie to them. I mean, have that much respect. I'm just saying. We don't need white people leading the Democratic Party right now. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black. I think Joe Biden might be suffering from that same white entitlement and privilege and ego where he's just that that old school white male who feels like hey man they need me i don't need them or i got them already what joe biden is under fire yes yeah, see how he calling him out saying that oh joe biden you know what i mean he can say whatever he wants do whatever he wants and he knows he's got their vote you know what i mean he knows he's got the black vote the minority vote and everything so he don't gotta really w work for it he's from that old school mentality and everything and yet Charlemagne backed this man. What the fuck? He backed up Joe Biden to Larry Elder. And Larry Elder called him out, rightfully so. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Larry Elder. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. This evening on comments he made about working alongside segregationist senators in the past. Biden recalling his early Senate career, bringing up two segregationist senators, Herman Talmadge and James Eastland, who called African Americans an inferior race. I was in a caucus with James O. Eastland, Biden said. He never called me boy. He always called me son. At least there was some civility. We got things done. We didn't agree on much of anything. We got things done. I think the two-party system, although... Didn't agree on much, but yet somehow you still managed to get things done. Okay. So my Democratic colleagues don't like me saying this. I think the two-party system is good for the South and good for the Negro, good for the black in the South. What? Two-party system is good for the South and good for the Negro, good for the black in the South. Um, and uh, uh, other than the fact that they still call me boy, I don't think they've, I think they've changed their mind. <laughs> and by the way, what you all know, but most people don't know, Unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community. What? It's that, that old school white male. What? Uh, let's see here. The new uh, integration plans being offered are really just a quota system to assure that a certain number of 
blacks, Chicanos, or whatever in each school, wow, that to me is the most racist concept you can come up with. What it says is in order for your child with curly black hair, brown eyes, and dark skin to be able to learn anything he needs to sit next to my blonde hair, blue eyed son. 1975 interview. This is a quote, an excerpt from a 1975 interview. Wow. Just wow. Bro, I didn't even have to pause it, man. I could have just let, let this thing play. They're going to put you all back in chains. What? Oh my God. 30 seconds or less. What kind of a chance with a Northeastern liberal like Joe Biden stand? And by the way, when Joe said that, I wonder which members of, of that audience were, were laughing. Because there were some people laughing in, when he said that. 30 seconds or less. What kind of a chance with a Northeastern liberal like Joe Biden stand uh, in the South if you were running in Democratic primaries against Southerners like Mark Warner and uh, John Edwards? Better than anybody else. And you don't know my state. My state was a slave state. My state is a border state. My state is the eighth largest black population in the country. My state is anything from a Northeast liberal state. What? It's that, that old school white male. Choosing Joe to be my vice president was one of the best decisions I ever made. Not the first sort of mainstream African American yeah. who is articulate and bright and, and, and clean and nice looking guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, that's a storybook, man. In, in, in reference to Barack Obama, he says, I mean, you got this. And again, this, this is a quote. All right, YouTube, this is a quote. You can clearly see it on the screen. Do refer to Obama as being, you know, the first African American who is articulate and bright and clean and nice looking, uh, uh, and a nice looking guy. I mean, that's a storybook, man. Come on, man. Wow, wow, Joe. Wow. Guy. I mean, it's, that's a storybook, man. My son is attorney general a year in Iraq, came back, and that's one of the things that he finds is was most in need when he was over there in Iraq for a year. People would come to him and talk about what was happening to him at home in terms of foreclosures, in terms of bad loans that were being, I mean, these Shylocks who took advantage of, uh, of these women and men. Back. Now, I had no idea um, there was more than one racial slur when it came to Jews. I know there, there there's like a K word for them. I won't say it, but it's spelled K I K E. Um, I've heard, I've heard that term. I I never knew the term Shylock. Um, again, quoting <clears throat> YouTube. So please don't don't at me. Um, I never knew that 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 was actually a racial term for uh, Jews as well. I mean that that's a new one to me. But anyway of these women and men. Back from Mumbai to go meet with President Xi in China. I stopped in Singapore to meet with a guy named Lee Kuan Yew, who most foreign policy experts around the world say is the most, the wisest man in the Orient. They're not a racist bone. Jesus Christ. One of my body. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. All right, y'all. Now, again, just so y'all know what you're dealing with, let me show y'all another clip right quick. All right, y'all. So as if that video wasn't enough, check out this little number from Joe. This was in a 1985 hearing. Joe Biden says the N-word out loud, not once, but twice. Check it out. Clearly indicates that there was intent. The court found the plan with unerring precision slices through the city's traditional subunit, the ward in a racially selective manner, leaving intact predominantly white wards while carving up those densely populated by blacks. As of the governor, the court concludes, quote, the governor's opposition to the Nunez plan was predicated in significant part on his delineation of a majority black district centered in Orleans Parish. In a confidential uh, portions of your staff memo, they brought to your attention the allegation that important legislators and legislators in defeating the Nunez plan in the basement said, quote, we already have a nigger mayor. We don't need any more nigger big shots. 
and the court cited evidence of discriminatory intent on the part. You guys not hear what this man just said? Here, I'll wind it back for those of you who don't listen in the back very well. Don't need any more nigger big shots. And the court cited evidence of discriminatory intent. Nunez plan in the basement said, quote, we already have a nigger mayor. We don't need any more nigger big shots. And the court cited evidence of discriminatory intent on the part of other legislators, including the representative who testified at the court hearing that there were legislators, quote, who don't feel they wanted to have a district that would be able to elect. Bruh. Bruh. So there you go. You just heard from the man himself how he feels about minorities. So yeah, if you're going to support somebody, at least know the history about the person. At least know what kind of person it is that you are supporting. I'm just saying. All right, y'all. So with all that being said, it is your boy Jason JV saying that y'all know the deal, man. If you guys want to go see these video clips for yourself and hear directly from the man himself, you know, how he feels about minorities, I will link those videos in the description down below. So you guys are more than welcome to have at that. And uh, yeah, and y'all know the deal over here. If you're feeling the vibes over here, you know what I'm saying? You with the vibes over here. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, share and subscribe. Thank you to everyone that's, that's subscribing. Man, we are almost up to 6,760 subs last time I checked. So yeah, really appreciate everyone subscribing. Also, don't forget uh, the merch in the merch store. Make sure y'all go pick yourself up some merch. Get that get that Trump mugshot tee that is now available. So yeah. Also comes in a hoodie and you can get it in, in a coffee mug as well. So there you go. Some options for you. And uh, yeah. And if you're already buying merch, hey, thank you very much. Really appreciate that support. Really means the world. And uh, yeah, I think I covered everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy Jason JVs and y'all take care. Have a blessed one. I catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Patrick. I'm after the next video. What's up, JV? What's up, JV? Get your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, if you're sad, if you're happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!